Ole, 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 and welcome to All Your Living Needs for Friday, July 18th, 2014. UEFA separates Ukraine and Russia, separated until further notice. Due to the current unrest and continuing tensions, the UEFA decided yesterday to keep Ukrainian and Russian clubs from playing each other until further notice. The emergency panel ruling has immediate impact as Russian and Ukrainian teams were set to meet each other in the Champions League third qualifying round July 18th. However, the ruling does not prevent matches being played on home turf and the city of Lviv and capital of Kiev can continue to host matches. Ref claims Kramer disoriented after headshot. Kramer asked, Ref, is this the final? Nicola Rizzoli the referee for the Germany versus Argentina World Cup final is finally speaking out about what happened moments after Kramer returned to the game after suffering a head-on collision with defender Ezekiel Garay. Rizzoli told Gazeta dello Sport that after getting up from the hit, Kramer asked him if he was playing in the final game, but Rizzoli thought he was just joking and asked him to repeat the question, to which Kramer replied, I need to know if this is re if this is really the final. When Rizzoli responded yes, Kramer said, thanks, it's important to know that. Rizzoli then told Germany midfielder Bastian Schweinsteiger about the conversation, but Kramer still continued playing for an additional 14 minutes. It wasn't until Kramer slumped to the ground that he was finally taken off the pitch. Real Madrid gets German midfielder Toni Kroos. Key German World Cup member gets a six-year contract with Real Madrid. Soccer joins Pakistan and India together. Two match series to take place in Bangalore. After a nine-year hiatus, the Pakistan team will play matches on August 17th and 20th. India is set to host the FIFA U-17 World Cup in 2017. India is currently in 151st place within the FIFA Coca-Cola World Rankings. Pakistan is in 165th place. Next year's African Nations Cup wrought with scandal. International soccer resumes this weekend with the qualifiers for next year's African Nation Cup. However, several nations are already under the microscope for a variety of reasons. Sierra Leone suspended four players last week under suspicion of match-fixing. Equatorial Guinea has been removed from the games for using an, Ill an Ill ineligible player. Additionally, Kenya has to do without several players because it falls outside FIFA's international match calendar. Morocco hosts the Nations Cup Finals tournament from January 17th to February 8th of next year. And finally, in case you missed it, Del Bosque staying on as Spain's national coach. Del Bosque says he's spoken with the Federation and he will be staying on until after the 2016 European Championships to be held in, in France. Quote, six years of success far outweigh two poor games, Del Bosque said. The Federation are feeling strong at the moment and they value the work I have done. We are feeling strong again, and we are going to continue our work in the same way we always have. He went on to say, we mustn't make drastic changes, just continue on the same path and tweak the odd thing. Many believe that after six years at the top of Spain's golden generation, that they have nothing more to give on the international stage. Del Bosque insists, though, there is no reason Spain cannot win in France in two years. That's the news for all your living needs, Friday, July 18th. Have a great weekend.